In the world, not only black or white exist, there is a wide range of grays, and all this is well known by Mark Leiter, a photographer known for his countless campaigns for the most important brands. But what makes him stand out among his colleagues is the way he captures ideas in videos. In his journeys, he has encountered everything, from astronauts, dancers, politicians, to even intoxicated people. One of the encounters that has attracted the most attention was with the White Takers, and today I'm going to tell you about their documentary, a work that narrates the harsh reality of an endogamous family, a family created among siblings. In the... In 2004, on one of his many trips along the highways of the United States and documenting its inhabitants for his American Portraits project, the photographer Mark was in West Virginia. Usually this man drives without having a destination, talking to different inhabitants and finding people who reflect the different colors, sizes, and ages of the inhabitants of those states or regions. It could be said that he loves all this variety. American, not just the typical city family, the White Takers represent a number of American citizens living in conditions of poverty and loneliness amidst the vast, nearly depopulated rural fields. But let me tell you how that encounter with this family happened. One day Mark stopped at a gas station and spoke to a policeman, telling him what he was looking for. Marginalized characters. He tells him that he knows a lot about the places where he could take him, and so he did. The first trip didn't go as expected, as the rains ruined part of his photographic equipment, so he had to return. On his second trip, he took Mark to see the White Taker family. They live or lived, they don't live yet, in a little town called Ott, West Virginia, which the word Ott in Spanish translates to strange, which the photographer found curious. But what he didn't expect was that the White Takers would make a good representation of this name, before all this, the policeman told Mark to bring a video camera because he would surely want to document what he experienced there. Mark, not paying much attention, decided to ignore the request. Starting with a highway that later becomes rural, a dirt road, to finally arrive at that trailer next to a shack on the other side of the road. There Mark sees people walking back and forth with their eyes going in different directions and also barking at each other. Both were surprised to see the only man who was watching them and shouting as he walked away with his pants falling down, running senselessly next to a trash can and then kicking it hard. Everything seemed out of control at that moment. In that first encounter, Mark's visit was interrupted by a very angry neighbor with a gun in hand. He threatened to use it if they didn't leave the Wee Shakers alone. At that moment, Mark explained what he was doing, calming the neighbor's anger a bit, which was understandable since it was known that neighbors and relatives usually protect them from those who try to take advantage or ridicule the family. That day, the Wee Shakers were in mourning. One of them had recently passed away, so initially one of the family members, who could more or less communicate clearly, mentioned that they were not interested in the photographer's project to which Mark intelligently offered to take some photos for them to present at the funeral, and that's how he earned their trust. He took a photo of one family member, then the next and the next, and so this connection was made. Two of the portraits, in fact, appeared in Mark's book called Created Equal. The strange thing about this family is that it is the product of incest. This is known as an endogamous family. Endogamy is referred to as marriage, union or reproduction between individuals of common ancestry that is from a family lineage or group. In terms of genetics, endogamy is the product of reproduction of parents who are closely genetically related. The result of endogamy is an increase in homozygosity, and this property increases the chances of suffering from a genetic disease. This is responsible for the notable intellectual deficiencies. 
a person resulting from endogamy is known as innate. But returning to the white takers, the appearance of the family as I tell you is very neglected. Most are already elderly people. All of this greatly impressed Mark, who later struck up a small friendship with them in 2004. The impressive thing about all this is that the white takers, the white takers live in such conditions. Extremely low, dirt, disease, death, poverty are things they know very well. One could come to this place and run away simply by observing what happens there. Although probably not everything that is said is true. It's true that over the years we have been shown these types of people as dangerous. Hollywood has put a twisted and sick version of these types of cases into our heads. For example, there's the famous movie Wrong Turn, which in summary tells the story of an incestuous family that pursues and stalks tourists who come near their area. These characters look deformed, sick, with the mentality of a bloodthirsty psychopath, which is a big lie, but at the same time the real story. And if you want me to tell you this story, then leave your comments here. Returning to it unlike this, Mark's goal was to show the reality of things in their purest form. The White Takers are a different family, but they are still part of the community. Very friendly people who just seek to be comfortable in their little piece of land. Over all these years, Mark visited them several times, but in 2020 he decided to record a small footage of the family. He documented the dwelling and what the relationship of the family members is like, discovering their roots. All this material is on the YouTube channel of Soft White Underbelly, which is a project where he, Mark, conducts interviews and documents different stories from various places in the country, as if his portraits were taking forest. I'll also provide the YouTube channel link below for your convenience. At the start of the video where he talks about the White Takers, we can see the four members who are present in the family. Three of them are already of advanced age. The youngest could be around 40 years old. They live in a small house with walls as I was telling you, dirty. You can see that the years have passed by there. The furniture of different colors and torn. Very deplorable living conditions. Poverty is present and Mark shows us a bit of it. If you wanna see the full video, I recommend, as I had already told you, that you go to Mark's channel. It's quite impressive to see these people in an unfortunate situation. I'm going to be leaving you snippets of this video, but for copyright reasons, I can't show you the entire video either. But well, the family is made up of Ray Lorraine and Betty, who are siblings. There's also Timmy, their nephew. Betty, who seems in some way to be the most aware, as she is the one who communicates with the most rationality using complete sentences. Lorraine only says a few words or phrases, not very complicated, while Ray and Timmy are the least communicative. Ray only communicates through screams that sound very much like dog barks. What's your favorite memory, Ray? Do you remember anything from your life? The photographer tries to have a conversation with Betty asking her about one of her brothers, named Freddy, whom he had photographed years ago. She tells him that he passed away four years ago. Meanwhile, the Whitakers mention that they have lived there all their life. Or rather, Mark asks them, and they only say no more than four words. Clearly, the family has never received any kind of basic education. Only Timmy, who graduated from high school, which is equivalent to secondary school. When asked about her family, Betty states she can't live at school. At school, that she can't say she much. She mentions that she loved her parents very much. It's hard to grasp the reality of these people. So vulnerable, innocent, and alienated from typical American society. Ray, Lorraine, and Timmy suffer from the same syndrome, so to speak a product of the relationship between both parents. Mark couldn't really get much information about this family. Their family tree is displayed in the top left of the screen, and in the top right of the screen, the top left of the screen is displayed, and in the top left of the screen, the top left of the screen is displayed. After this encounter, in 2020, the photographer returned now in 2021 to continue documenting the family. After the first video went viral and a campaign was made with the help of the God Found Me Foundation, they were able to fix the roof thanks to this. Similarly, their home continues to deteriorate and is shown in barely livable conditions. The accumulation of trash begins meters before reaching the house. The clothes they wear seem like they haven't been washed in a long time. 
There are several dogs in the house, and Betty mentions that she is aware of them. The condition they live in is somewhat worrying. They are marginalized people, expelled from modern society, seen as the product of something immoral, unnatural, and scandalous. Only a few neighbors care about the family's well-being, even though outside, mockery and ridicule are to be expected. Finally, Mark mentioned that he conducted an investigation on the family since the last time he was there. He says he found out that the White Taker's parents are first cousins, which would explain many of the intellectual and physical irregularities. Although he says that something else must have happened in that family, something in the environment, in the water, or something of that sort. This family surprised a lot of people in these two years since Mark's videos came to light. I think in a way we should open our eyes and make a decision. And if you liked this video, don't forget to follow me on all my social networks and on all audio platforms and see you in the next mystery.